The Suffolk County Vanderbilt Museum in Centerport has a new interim director. Lance Rainheimer describes himself as a numbers guy with the financial background and experience needed to guide the Vanderbilt Museum through these tough economic times. I worked uh, 21 years for the Suffolk County Legislature and uh, when I retired this past fall I, I, was, I was the assistant director of the Budget Review Office. Budget Review Office is the professional staff for the legislature. We do all their, their reports, we analyze the budget. Suffolk County has a three billion dollar operating budget and uh, we do the capital budget, review the capital budget for the county. But in addition to that, more importantly, during the 15 year, past 15 years, one of my responsibilities was the Vanderbilt Museum. Uh, I analyzed their operating budget, their capital budget, their improvements to their buildings and grounds, and also their endowment. I'm very familiar with the Vanderbilt. I've worked with the past two directors of the museum, the board, especially in the past two years, I've worked very closely with the board uh, after the financial crash, it, it adversely impacted their endowment, which is part of the problem with the Vanderbilt Museum and, and other museums too, is that the endowments uh, were adversely impacted. They're not providing the income that the museum needs in order to operate. In these difficult times, governments are cutting back funding to uh, the, cult the cultural uh, destinations. Uh, there's talk about the federal government cutting funds to the National Endowment to the Arts. So all museums are in the same boat. We're, we're looking to survive. We're looking to uh, provide an education for the public. We need to show that there's value here at the Vanderbilt, that every dollar that's invested uh, results in really uh, many, many hours of enjoyment for all families. We also have uh, tour buses that come in here. So there are tourists, there are people that come from other countries that come here. Uh, we have uh, tour buses coming in uh, during the year. So people are interested in, in learning about the, the, they're fascinated with the Vanderbilt family. Uh, this is one of the great families of this country. They were building, uh, they built the railroads. Uh, so it's, it's fascinating to see how these people lived. And Reinheimer says he has a vision to achieve these goals. I'm working on memberships. We've decided to increase our annual membership to 15 months. So you buy an annual membership for 15 months. We're not changing the price. With that, you get free admission to the museum. You get free admission to scheduled planetarium shows. And it's a real value for a family. One of the main projects he will be working on is a major upgrade to the planetarium. The Vanderbilt is here, our doors are open, the planetarium is going to be a world-class planetarium. We have the largest dome in the country and we're going to have the, one of the best uh, planetariums that this country has right here in our backyard in Suffolk County. I'm going out to corporations to ask them to support the, the uh, renovations of the planetarium because we still need uh, additional funds to renovate the seats, the, the uh, lobby. Suffolk County is investing three million dollars in the technical part, the three million dollars worth of equipment. But this project does not include the renovation of the seats and the renovation of the lobby, which is very important. I'm looking at the total museum experience. When a family comes here, I want them to enjoy the museum to the best that they can. And that includes good seats. It doesn't make any difference that we have the best planetarium in this country if you're sitting on lumpy, bumpy seats. We need to improve the total museum experience. And that, so my job here is to go out into the community, get funds, solicit funds from corporations, from state government, in order to make this renovation complete so that the museum experience is uh, something that families will enjoy and will come back to. And that's my vision for the museum. Raymond Heimer says it's critical that we preserve Long Island's historical treasures. It's just interesting to see how that uh, generation lived and uh, to experience that. And it's important to preserve that because once it's gone, uh, we can't get it back. So it's important that we preserve what we have today for future generations. In Centerport, Chris Kalora reporting.